Five, four, three, two, one. Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> 77. Mm -hmm. Freaking guy went to all over the world. Freaking and finally he come back. It's been almost one month. One since we did month an episode. An episode. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of episodes over there anyway. November 22nd was the last one. Yeah, so welcome back. If you're watching us on Twitch, you can also watch us on YouTube. If you're watching us on YouTube, you can watch us on Twitch. They go live at the same time every week. As well, you can listen to us on SoundCloud anytime. Anytime. On SoundCloud as well. So. well as well. Yeah, as well as well. As well, I like. We got new art. We have a new art from the trip. Which is when I went to Houston, Texas, we went to a firing range called Top Gun and they let us shoot AK 47s. That's poor guy. So, so that is my target that I shot with an AK 47 that you'll be able to see on the fourth year anniversary episode on April 24th. Me shooting the gun. That's amazing. And all other fun jazz. So, jazz? Yep. Yeah. Jizz or jazz? Jizz, jazz, whatever you want. <laughs> Jism. Jism and Jism go. The Very nice. He was finding shooting guns. Yeah, the uh, commercial for the fourth year anniversary comes out on Christmas. Yeah. On December 25th. That's so amazing. you get to see a little sneak preview of some stuff. Awesome. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a lot of stuff, ladies and gentlemen. All right. What's going on? Freaking... Uh, what today? Are you falling asleep? Right. Holy shit! We we're gone. We're gone for three weeks, and then we both get sick. So that's the that's, we're a little bit a under the weather. Yeah, that's fantastic. Well, because I went to fucking butt fuck all over the place. He that's touched a lot of fucking germs. I, I sat in the subway <laughs> in New York. Probably got something from that. Oh, probably green rat poison. I got rat poison on my. Fingers. Vagina. You know, <laughs> on my vagina. Holy crap. Fuck. No, I got sick. When did I get sick? Halfway through the trip, I guess. Yeah, I guess. You know why? Because we went from fucking, it was 32 degrees. Mm -hmm. And then we went from 32 degrees to 12 degrees. Yeah, that's and a we little drop. And we traveled different time zones. Yeah, that's like you in traveling time. We were time traveling. Time travel. Yeah. So now you hear, but you're not really here. No, I'm here. <laughs> you, that show, it's right now here, but it's not here. Like, when is show gonna be ready? Right? April twenty fourth. This one? Not this one. This one. April twenty fourth. Friday. You have to, Friday night. You have to wait six months. Yeah. Again, before you gonna see this show. <laughs> <laughs> April 24. April 24. You can set it as a reminder on your YouTube thing. The video is up there. You just can't watch it. Okay, dude. Premieres April 24th. Very nice. Okay, first <coughs> news. <laughs> you ready for the news? Yeah, I'm ready. You ready? Ready. 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 All right. You oh. ever you ever heard of this island? Island? Yes, this island. A oh, what island? Called Mar Margarita Island. That's that's what they serve margaritas on on this island. They probably do serve margaritas on the island. So where is this island located? In uh, Venezuela. Where is Venezuela? Like Italia? No. <laughs> uh, Venezuela, where? Italia. Yeah, like like no. Italy. We're close to Venezuela. No, where's Venezuela? Right beside Italia. No. Not even close. Like Argentina? Kind of. Oh, okay. Brazil? Yeah. Venezuela. V Venezuela. <laughs> okay, so Venezuela. Okay, so Venezuela, somewhere over there. So Venezuela has... North this, Pacific, I think. Yeah. What? North Pacific? <laughs> <laughs> North Pacific time? Pacific time is West Coast. Yeah, other, right, other other right beside the East Coast. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, west coast next that's east in coast. army i always have a problem that they say to me go east west 
and go west east and say why you can say left or right <laughs> no they would have said northwest or yeah but they always mix yeah, them and i'm southeast. always saying why you not say left <laughs> why you not say right because it's a certain way left and a certain <laughs> way right anyway. because because your left to me right now is my right see you should say it. You're gonna go on my left, you're right. You're gonna go right. <laughs> and I know where I'm going. I, then he did start confusing me with the southeast, west, east, pacific. East. Yeah, you go northeast. <laughs> this is that's where I went, northeast, which is What happened if it's nighttime? I don't know where it's north. What do you mean? You, every car has a fucking compass in it now. Really? Yeah. What happened if you have no car? Well, then you fucking download an <laughs> app. Compass Your phone app. dead. Well, you log on the sky yeah. clouds. You can't have stars. Oh, what yeah. the fuck now? Well, you fucking sit and wait till morning. If you can't see. You can actually do it something if you want. Yeah. Find out, yeah. You pour. Yeah, you go left or you, you go have, right. If you have little water. <laughs> water. Yeah. Okay. You make little, like, squeeze soil. Squeeze soil with pour water. Pour water inside this thing. Mm hmm. So you have, like, miniature lake. Okay, so you make a mini lake. Yeah, then you grab a uh, leaf. Okay. And you grab some thread, like metal thread or something. Something metal have to be. Like miniature little hair metal. Hair metal. You put on these leaves. Okay. You put on the water and the leaves gonna turn into the north. The so, metal. So, so you that you build up the compass, like uh, from nature. So your nature compass. Yeah, but how are you gonna see if it's too dark? The leaf is always gonna go north. That's what that's, you're saying. That's where you put this needle, mm -hmm. and the heavy more needle is gonna go always to the north. What? Because the magnetic Why? plate is gonna pushing to the north always. Because it's magnet. But, but there's no magnets. Yeah, north is magnet. Everything. Why you have everything? Everything going to the north because it's so magnetic field going to the north yeah <laughs> okay keep what? going because you're getting confused all right so why do you think this island is so famous i first time here the island is famous from you yeah okay let's say she's famous from margaritas Maybe for free. free. Margaritas, People okay. all drunk just drink margaritas and singing La Bella Viva La okay. <laughs> <laughs> What country is this Venezuela? It's a country. Yeah, but what kind of language Venezuelans use it? Oh, I have no idea. Spanish, I'm guessing. Why is always Spanish in like crazy? Uh, like what they have because no Venezuelan language? Because what happened was Spain came from Europe. They went to South America. Yeah. They tried to fucking colonize it. Yeah. And then they have their own like dumb version of Spanish down there. You call Venezuelan dumb people? Well, because you ever hear Russell Peters joke how Spain tried to teach uh, Mexican Spanish? No. Because they go, como esta? Like that's how you say it in Spanish. Como estas? Como esta? Como like you estas. say it with a lisp. And then the Mexicans go, Como estas? <laughs> like it's different dialect. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's like the dumb Spanish is what Mexicans speak and what Venezuelans speak. And then Brazil was like, fuck Spanish. We're going to speak Portuguese. And Portuguese, what kind of language they speak? Portuguese. And what is different between Portuguese and Portuguese? There's no difference between Portuguese and No, Portuguese and, Portuguese. and uh, Spanish. It's... Two completely different languages. Oh, wow. That's very confusing. But in Venezuela, I don't know if they have their own, like, Venezuelan slang or... Yeah, I think so, Venezuela they... is right beside Nigeria. No. Nigeria is Africa. And Venezuela is not Africa. Ve Venezuela would be near Nicaragua. <laughs> what you yeah, like? sure. Yeah, well, you don't know, Yeah, you don't know South America. Uh, what is this fucking Ask Siri. What, fucking what's word. Venezuela? Hey Siri. Where is located Venezuela? Okay, I found something on the web for what is located. Take a look. I didn't even hear you say Venezuela. Hey Siri. Venezuela location. 
Oh, they get uh, some weather report. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. No, oh, good luck trying to spell it. No, I know how. To spell yeah, you know how to spell yeah. Venezuela. Yeah. How do you spell it? How do you spell Venezuela? <laughs> no, come on. Yeah, I got it already. Spell it out. Oh, Venezuela. You got Venezuela? Yeah, let's go. Let's see what language. What language do they speak? Go wolf. Yeah, you can yeah. see what they've done. You, you can go whatever you want. Well, you spell Venezuela completely wrong. No, no, this good. This is the correct version. Okay, go to the correct version. So, Venezuela yeah. is beside Colombia. Oh! Okay. That's coffee maker people. Along the Caribbean Sea. Oh! Like Panama? No, no. Costa Rica? No. No. <laughs> it's by Ghana, Colombia, Venezuela, yeah. and Nicaragua. Is what is the like, bigger fucking country beside that? Colombia is definitely one of the biggest countries beside them. Since you say Colombia, I see the fucking big guy with sombrero fucking donkey behind him and have a coffee on him. What is the Colombia beside the bigger country? Colombia is beside Ecuador. Oh my god, can we have normal country like Brasilia or something? No. So they like complete some in a bush? They're south. Oh, bush. What bush? No, fuck, by Colombia. Like being in the bush. Yeah, sure. Like they, uh, they got bush. Bushwhackers. They're bushwhackers? <laughs> in Venezuela? I don't know what language they speak. I apologize for his non stop clipping to the people who sing and listen as on SoundCloud. The what? You non stop like. <laughs> <Don't stop. laughs> Who's doing that? Yeah. I'm gonna type in language. Let's see what language they speak. They speak Spanish. Oh, see. Si? So they just speak si, Spanish. Senor. Yeah. Si. Yeah. Who's senor? Yeah, you're, you're freaking like a you're like a freaking horse fucking Am I in like the a traffic. Horse? Yeah, in traffic. <laughs> so this island. How's your the... horses in downtown? They still there? Holy shit! You know your horse. What horses? Una grandele. The the... I don't know. You don't drive that way? No. To work? No. I don't drive that way. Which way you go now? I just go down fucking uh, Lakeshore bullshit. Lakeshore bullshit to ride to the gas so station. The, yeah. And just... you go straight still? No. My or... work is before the gas station. That's like little parking over there on this yeah. corner? That's your work? Yeah. Oh, we w I was turned around always sweeper over there. So they was dragging from shooting grand shit. Sure, I don't know. Oh, that's your bar? That's the only one thing I'm thinking. Yeah, there's one bar on the whole fucking street. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so it's like beside the gas station, beside the rooster. Holy awesome! We're talking about shit that no one knows what we're talking. No, no, about. but oh, no, 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 no. okay. All right. Listen, this Listen, island is famous. This because vagina margarita island. Because. It's known as Sex Island. That's what I knew right away. Vagina Margarita Island. Sex Island. So every year. Every year. They have the world's raunchiest festival. What what festival? Raunchiest. Raunchiest? Yeah, raunchiest. What like does it mean? Dirty. Dirty? Sexual. Dirty sexual. It's basically a festival every year where people go and have giant orgies on this island. Mm -hmm. Hundreds and hundreds of people. Nice. Fucking each other. Unlimited drugs, unlimited hookers, you get everything. Oh. So why this is in the news is because a 16-year-old kid yeah. won a ticket <laughs> you won't to go. go to Sex Island. Oh, yeah, I hear To this. lose his virginity there. His father is support, but mother is against. Yeah. Some, oh, okay, so... So that would happen. So, yeah. I, I hear he got some kind of ticket so to this six, island, but I didn't know if that island is like crazy orgy or something. So the 16-year-old ended up winning a ticket to go. Usually you go by yacht yeah. to the island. Yacht. Yeah, so you go by yacht to the island. Yacht. You basically fuck everyone, and then you go home. Very nice. So the 16-year-old kid lost his virginity by winning a ticket to an orgy, which is basically the whole festival is an orgy. And he fucked on the island. And then people are like, why is the 60-year-old fucking on the island? Because that's the age of consent. Basically, 80% of the planet Yes, is 16. Oh, very good. Just the Life is too short. Go for it. Just the only place where it's not 16 is the USA. Which is a weird. 
You know that? What, what, what? The age of consent in the U.S. is 18, not 16. But everywhere else is 16. Like what everywhere else? Like Canada, Australia, well, not South in America. It's 18. No, it's probably 16 no, there too. No, we never have 16. We, we can't drive car within 16. We have to be 18. No, I think that's bullshit. No, we know because we have to be responsibility. But there was there. also a dentist from New York who kept a diary to document his time on the sex, on the sex island. So he kept a diary. <clears throat> they wrote an article. And it's basically him telling stories of what happens on the sex island. So this island name is Margarita Island? Yes. And where is located? In Venezuela. Like in Venezuela or beside Venezuela? It's like Venezuela owns this island. The long Venezuela. Because Venezuela is Only on you the can coast. get on the island by the boat. By boat. How big is the island? It's big if you can fit hundreds of people. So that's basically the same shit with this uh, other one have. Like, you know, the naked islands. What they have. What is they called? Uh, what? Naked islands? Yeah, they have this islands too. They Everybody go there. On S start. Oh, shit. S. <laughs> There was already this thing that everybody go there and stay naked. Called S. Called S. On S start this island. I remember this was like paradise and everybody can go and you naked and all fucking big stars go there. Charlie Sheen went there, everybody. Oh, I don't know. No, anyway, but there's some know. kind of island that's but this tourism. To give, you, to give you a hint of how crazy this festival is, so, like so how, means... how, how much sex happens. No, fuck yeah. That yeah. tourist... How much you can put... Uh, 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 what I mean? Limo to garage, how many times? Come on, let's see. Tourists were passing out from too much sex. Oh my god. Yeah, who the fuck passes out from too much sex? Name a person you know that passed out from too much sex. I passed out in Poland. Yeah, bullshit. And I wake up. Yeah. And I said, what happened? <laughs> Too much sex. They say, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, 16-year-old won a ticket and he got to go on Fuck Island. No, very nice. In Venezuela, uh, which is one of the most dangerous countries on the planet. Yeah, but that's probably a resort or something. Yeah. So that's okay. Next freaking Venezuelan news. Come on. Santa theme park. <laughs> Santa theme park. Where do you think the Santa theme park is? Up north. No. You already named the country. I named the country today? Yes. Brazil. Yes. Another fucking fucking island. So get this. Yeah. In, Bra in Brazil. All right. Santa just wearing hat. There is an abandoned Santa theme park. Yeah. In the city of Itaguai. Like not Hawaii, just Itaguay. Itaguay. It's basically when you're driving north to Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro. There's a town called Itaguay. Right before Jesus thing. And the park, the actual name of the park is called Park Albanoa. Banol. Albanol. It's a an abandoned Christmas themed park. Albanoa. Albanol. Albanol. Yeah, something like that. Hey, sorry. What is Park Abbanol? Okay, I found something on the web for what is the part of Banal. Take yeah, what's the part of Abbanol? I got the sniffs. Sniff, 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 sniff. What? Huh? What do you say? No, now I'm noticing myself like I'm going. Yeah, you're crazy all day. Yeah. Crazy. Banal. No, you got it wrong. It's a fucking Brazilian Santa Park. Yes. Doesn't get any more retarded than that. Okay, anyway, so keep keep talking about Brazilian fucking annoying <laughs> fucking Brazilian park. It was created by a politician named Antonio Albano Rice. Albano? He loved... Rice? Yeah. Why Rice? So Antonio loved Christmas so much, he literally built a Santa amusement park. And basically people used to call him Santa. That was his nickname as a politician. Oh, so that's nice. And, uh... <laughs> Your chair is creaking. Basically, the park closed in 2004, when he died. Mm. And now it's been rediscovered, 
basically like 10 years later that there's because they apparently these guys were driving through Brazil mm-hmm. and then they randomly noticed giant sent Santa heads in the woods staring at them. Oh. And then they realized there's a whole abandoned Santa Claus theme park in Brazil. No, and so they rebuild it? No, it's just a bunch of like reindeer in the woods abandoned. Yeah, but they don't do nothing. There's abandoned Santa heads everywhere. No, we hear that, but they're yeah. gonna reopen? No, why the fuck would you reopen Santa theme park in Brazil? That's beautiful. Who the fuck wants to go to Santa theme I park? I wanna go. You wanna go to Santa theme park? Yeah, we can open here. People oh. will be coming on Christmas when we have a business like crazy. We give Santa. Yeah, maybe open one month of the year? For just no. Christmas? We're gonna be Christmas every year. All year. Well, it's old. always every year. No, we're gonna have a summer Christmas. Which, summer Christmas. Yeah, where this uh, deer is gonna be just have that, uh, you know, like uh, hats. They're gonna have hats. <laughs> okay. But no clothes. No clothes. Deer, no clothes. No, okay. And then we're gonna have uh, like a uh, fall uh, again. Mm-hmm. Shows when they're gonna make like a uh, fur from leaves. Like so in green. fall, the like deer we... will make clothes out of leaves. Yeah, like uh, yellowish. Yellow. Okay. And the winter, they're gonna be look like sheep. They're gonna be white, puffy. White, puffy. Yeah, and Santa gonna be white. What about spring? Spring gonna be fucking green leaves. So they're gonna be green deer. Only fucking summer gonna be naked, and we're gonna go to the Merdeville Island. Okay. And then we have a lot of sex, and we're coming back. So, okay, so the deer get naked. Yeah, we go hook to Mar- up the fucking to uh, sleigh. Yeah. We, we love the fucking people who want to go to Margaret Island. Yeah. We freaking go over there with okay. naked deers. Yeah. We fuck. Everything what is there? There. We turn around. We coming back for winter time, holidays, and, and we, we say Merry Christmas to the children. Oh yeah. wow! Yeah, that's problem solved. Yeah. Next freaking. Uh, what happened with your uh, music list? You gonna ever make no, that? No, there's nothing soon? yet ready. It's a recession making. Yeah. Nothing is new. There's been a lot of new stuff. We haven't been on the fucking I know, I YouTube pre- for a whole I'm month. Gonna, I'm gonna preparing myself next week. I'll complete the uh, sickness. Complete just sleep. Nothing. Yeah, you through. know because last show we did was November twenty second. I know. I know, I know. So that gives a lot of time to find new I shit. I know. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I apologize. Oh, wow. Wow. All right. Next. Listen, Pete Davidson. Okay. Yeah, we here. We have the problems. Machine gun helping him. Yeah. And the fucking everything is fine so far. Yeah. The uh, best friends. You know why machine gun helping? Why him. is machine gun Kelly best friends with Pete Davidson? You don't know why? No. Oh, they just make movies together. Okay. That's what the TMZ said. And okay. on the on the movie plan, they play some together. Okay. And they became friends on this movie. And now of the movie, they keep it together. And now how he was in an SNL that day, locked himself in the room in SNL as a fucking, you know, going. Mm-hmm. Uh, Anna Grande came, he didn't want to talk to her. And Machine Gun came over there and grabbed him and drive him home. <sighs> but he said he is in bad place. Mm-hmm. Even Machine Gun said it's... He like fucking, like, you know... Well, the way- that was his problem. That was his depression, man. Like with me, sometimes I'm like sitting, and I'm saying, "Fuck it, I don't care anymore anything," and that's honest to God. Like, woo. No, what happened is he's sad because he got the li- he started living this life with someone he cared about. Yeah, but no, I think that, so. It's not that just then this. that person he cared about just fucking overnight gone, and then now your life completely changes overnight. And you're like, holy shit, like, this is fucking, like, done. Yeah, but that's... You went, you went from, like, w- like doing cool things with this individual and living this completely different life for a month. For a month? And, yeah. How you can make big... Trust me, one month can change you so much. Yes, it can. What yeah, but, about? but you should come back to the normal stuff. Like, you have to always find something to pull you out from this thing. Like no, you I just ha- have to keep moving forward. That's what I said. And do, so some- and do something yeah. different. Yeah, that's what I said. Always. 
Yeah, you can't live mm-hmm. in the past and be sad like, oh, I'm not doing this anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what was an interesting thing yeah. that I was listening to last night was uh, Bert Kreischer interviewed Tom Green. Yeah. Oh, the fucking he show up finally? Yeah, he's showing he's up. He's from everywhere. Canada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What are you doing now? He's bringing back uh, TV shows. He's going to do his own shows again. Oh, because he's like... And he the same go in depression how he divorced with the uh, E.T. chick. Yeah. Yeah, see, I know. He it. brought up the same thing in that interview. He's like, if I could call Pete Davidson... Yeah. Because he said the same thing happened to him. I know, I know. Where he that's... married the biggest chick on the planet, Yeah, Drew that she was a, the, That day she was very big, popular, yeah. Yeah. And he said he was on uh, Charlie... He met Charlie her on Andrews. Charlie's yeah, Angels. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was on that movie. They started dating. He married her. Was that was quick too, very quick. Five yeah. months, he said, yeah, yeah. and done. Yeah. See how I know this? I know this shit from a long time ago. And he said it was the same situation where he's like, okay, yeah, I'm with the biggest celebrity kind of pop yeah, chick on yeah. the planet right now. Yeah. And then he's like, all right, now we're done. Yeah. I know this shit. How I was divorced was the same thing. I was out in the house in fucking three days. Yeah. What? Well, I don't love you anymore. Bye. I don't want you here. Run away right after this. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. yeah. And you're like, wow, well, you try digging? Nothing helping. Mm-hmm. And that was, whoa, was terrible. That's mm-hmm. what I, uh, but if I have a brain now, what I have now, I would mm-hmm. say, oh, well, whatever. Yeah. Bitch. Yeah. You... But, but on the beginning, it was ridiculous. If you don't know, it really hit you hard. Holy shit. Yeah, well, he's young. He no, that's know. where he, he... He doesn't know. He's like the same yeah, age as me. Yeah, that's where he no one make a mistake. Forget it. Fucking you have the same situation. How, when did you say I love you and everything went fucking to the drain? And you mm-hmm. was too, like, a little shocky. A little bit. Yeah, but you was shocky too. Yeah, but I didn't complain about it. Yeah, but you fucking, you know... I didn't... Yeah, I know, but like for didn't you, complain nothing. I was just like, oh, okay, that's done. <laughs> no, I'm going. No. Yeah, that's literally what I said. <laughs> yeah, laugh. <laughs> ah. Yeah, because I was like, that's a stupid reason. Yeah, the chick get bananas. Yeah, and then after, I ended up working with her like two years later. Are you guys are actually talk or no? No, I don't care. Yeah. I don't know. Why would I care? No, but like, you know, in the like normal way, after the letters split and say, no, it's just... No, we were never friends. We were just seeing each other. That was it. Yeah, well, whatever. Anyway, so that, that's a little bit messed up with your head. But like I said, you have to have some some support friends. He, like, I don't have nobody. Holy fuck, nobody. Yeah. And even doctor don't give me nothing because he said if you want to be copy or whatever... Some in a future position, like direct people, you can't have this on the background, mm-hmm. uh, like a depressing shit. And I'm say, oh, okay, well, yeah, I gonna be have my big corporation, and I I can be crazy. Well, Pete Davidson should just be happy that he's so successful at the, I don't at know. the age he's at. He, I think so. He came to the moment he said, "Fucking everything is bullshit," and that's well, it. he was getting mad that a bunch of people online were attacking him. Over oh, you can read this over shit. a situation yeah. that they have no idea. Like people, yeah, people now. Even mental. us, we have no idea what the fuck happened. What? We don't know what happened. Why like you... why they broke up? Oh fuck! They they they, they their business. Fuck! Yeah. Leave them alone. The, the you know what I mean? Yeah, and but they, like some people fucking and people are assholes. attacking. Yeah, yeah, saying they know. I know. But they they're not with a twenty four seven camera in the bedroom watching them. So how the fuck would they know? <laughs> exactly. They don't fucking know. No one knows. Chick, Chick was probably talking nonstop about the guy who fucking suicide. Yeah, and then whatever. and then fucking well, Pete. Now gets, you're but, fucking putting your opinion. But like, no, no. But like, like, I'm guessing what happened. Yeah, inside. Mm-hmm. Like, Pete say, listen, if you still don't know what the fucking, I let you go. Go outside and grieve. Like you know, a little bit of your friend. Okay, bye bye. I don't know. What are I gonna do with this tattoo? I'm gonna put flower over. Yeah. yeah, they got tattoos, they got all that shit. That's always like this. She, I knew it was gonna happen. She gave back the ring. Yeah. 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 You know? Wow. Then he went sad. No, whatever. Pete, fucking hang, buddy. This is gonna pass you. You're gonna find somebody better. Yeah. Or like me, nobody better. <laughs> 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 They're all crazy. 
They're just showing and going. Showing and going? Yeah, that's what I say. You should find somebody who won't be with you and not have to be with you. Yeah. Like, you know, you're married, blah, blah, blah. You mm. have to be. Mm. Since this thing going, the fucking... No. The door is always open. If she is with you, it's awesome. If she leaves, it's even better. Bye. Yeah. That's what I do now. Well, she's only one person. <clears throat> There's still seven billion people I know, on the I planet have, you could talk I to. I think so. I have since my divorce, I have one, two, three, <laughs> four. Okay. <sighs> five. Five chicks with the cane and go. Mm-hmm. And, but after this last two, I asked to God, oh, I think so, this doesn't work. Oh, fantastic. Good, you was here and close the door. All right, bye. Nothing, not even fucking, oh, that's sad. Yeah, you're like Ariana Grande. Thank you, next. Yeah, exactly. That was, right now it's like this. Yeah. I can't even go, I can't even, I have a proposition a few times already. And what I uh, try, uh, what I said to them? No. You don't get it? I said, no, I'm gay. Mm -hmm. And they leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. And fuck the shit. Yeah. And that's it. No. They still don't try after, though? No. Since you say gay, you say, oh, you two. Is all good guys gay. And then you're like, and they yeah. left. I'm like, oh, my God. Whew, thank you, Jesus. Because it was Halloween all the time. Halloween all you know, the face. Oh, my. oh cake. Okay. No, the chick was yeah. crazy and she was stacking me and I'm like, come yeah, on. You're like, fuck off. Oh, pff, I, you know, I'm being bad and you said, yeah, listen, I'm gay. <laughs> That's how you get rid of them. The, yeah, now <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> and no matter where I'm going. <laughs> no, fuck. But it's okay. Yeah. Fuck it. The Nothing fuck. against the gays. You should be freaking happy whatever you want to be with, with whatever. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Who cares? Life is too short. Well, you know. You <laughs> have to find somebody who you want it, but they look like they're all crazy, so fuck it. Put everybody to one bag. Oh, yeah. Next one. But guess, uh, guess what happened on a Korean airline? I hear something about this too. <laughs> wait a second. Wait, wait, wait a second. Somebody jump? Or? No one jumped. Wait, wait, wait. Something happened. Yeah, Korean Airlines. Okay, say it because I. Korean Air. You have to remind me. All right, so this big incident happened. Something I hear. Something Korea, South Korea, something, something. Yes, it's called the Nut Rage. Nut? Rage. Rage. Yeah. Okay, so what happened? So what happened on this Korean Air? Okay, airline. Yeah. The flight attendant, basically, what he did was what? serve nuts. Okay? No. It's like a snack you get on airplane. What right? nuts? Like the pistachios? Just normal peanuts. You get normal peanuts. Normal on. peanuts! You don't get pistachios. You don't get the nice nuts. You get the cheap shit. All Airplanes right. give you cheap shit. All right. Okay. You pay $10 for fucking Pringles and a Coca-Cola on an airplane. Okay, it's fucking bullshit. They give you bullshit. Okay, it's all you get on an airplane. <clears throat> okay, okay, so basically, he served the daughter who owns the airline with nuts, with nuts, but gave it to her in a bag and not in a bowl. And, and then he got in a lot of shit for serving the nuts in a bag. And not in a bowl. What is why is this the difference? Because when it's in a bowl, you don't have to go digging with your fingers in the sack. It's all nice and open, and you just go in your seat, throw the nuts in your mouth, and eat. Okay. And now we got a problem. Now you're giving the girl fucking a bag. She's got to open it. The fucking nuts could explode everywhere. You know she's princess because you know her dad. Oh my god. Her, what princess? South Korea princess? She, she, because her dad owns a fucking airline company. Oh, he got So the guy basically okay, okay. got in shit for doing it. Got in shit. Was forced to go on his knees and try to apologize to her, saying, I'm sorry I gave you the nuts in a bag. Okay. Not in a bowl. Oh. Then he got fucking thrown out of the airplane. Like, 
in there. before I got take took <laughs> off. <laughs> Woo! Then that employee, <laughs> then that employee sued the Korean Air for basically mental and physical abuse. Yes, because it's bullshit. Why would you give him shit for giving nuts in a bag? Yeah, than a bowl. Oh my god, what the fuck is going on in the earth? Yeah, so he had to apologize on his knees. He okay. apologized his knees. And they called the... Did you hear what you said? Yeah, he had to apologize on his knees. On his knees. Yeah, on his yeah, knees. Yeah, to the princess. Like, he had to go on his knees. What the princess name was? Uh, no idea. Elizabeth uh, Just a one daughter and a half. of an airline oh. chairman. Okay, uh, princess airline. Gave her bag nuts instead of putting them in a bowl. And got basically kicked out of his job for doing it. You know, maybe they have a protocol, nuts on the ball. So he took it to court. Oh. They fought it for four years in court. Then they ran on the nuts, and then it was guess, verdict. Guess how much money he got. He won. Yeah. Four million dollars. No. Higher or low? Lower. Four hundred thousand dollars. Nope. Lower? Yeah. Forty dollars. Higher. Fifty dollars. No, he got eighteen thousand dollars only. For four years? Yep. You should have it for your years you lose the job and everything. No. Nope. Maybe that's a equivalent to their four years job, whatever you make. Nope. Eighteen thousand dollars. That's eighteen thousand if you put it in the US. Yeah, but he's uh, back Korean. to work. No. That's just what he got. Yeah, but he should have. His name is clean and everything, because they say the princess was crazy. No, oh, she won a ball and he have a bag. Apparently, he was crazy. That's why I was called nut rage. Oh. Uh -huh. And this Korean employee mm -hmm. who worked on this airline mm -hmm. did the mistake of a lifetime. Yeah. Gave her bagged nuts instead of. Nuts in a bowl. All right, so next one. Let's move on from this fucking nuts shit to the freaking today. Okay, let's catch up what we did today. Holy fuck! Fucking, I we did, did. I did nothing today. Today we did seventy-seven number on the beginning of the show. Mm -hmm. Then we show this fucking poor guy get shot in fucking Houston, Texas. Yeah. Then we fucking have it in Venezuela, fucking island with everybody fucking each other. Yeah. And then we went on the plane. Oh, then we went to the fucking another island where they find a fucking Santa Claus fucking head. And then we grab our deers going to Venezuela island again. Fucking people come back with deers over there, go to the airport, jump on the plane and fucking eat the nuts in the bag. No, you and completely forgot that we talked about Pete Davidson and all that shit. Oh, this crying baby still crying. I don't have a girlfriend anymore. I don't want to be on this earth anymore. <laughs> Somebody give him tissue for his issue. That's not first and not last. Trust me. Grow up, you freaking uh, Pete Davidson. Just felt bad for him like 10 minutes wow. ago. Wow! Like, oh, but it's him. enough! Fucking uh, give him the, uh, the, 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 the thing. What thing? Benefit of the doubt. And that's it. Fucking stop crying, wipe the shit, and go back, make me laugh. Yeah, he's good on that. Yeah, he's very good. He should be sticking out. The oldest comedian, I find out, listen to this, the old comedians who moving to the serious shit, like Jim Carrey and everything, mm -hmm. get fucking crazy. I don't know, Steve Carell's pretty normal. Uh, what's his name? The guy who hanging himself. Uh, uh, the <laughs> Mrs. Dotfire. Yeah, Robin Williams. Top, Robbie Williams. See, he went after two more serious movies, then he hanging himself. Okay. We have a Jim Carrey who is fucking nuts now. We have a... What yeah, but he's not nuts. He's not nuts. He's nuts with bag. And <laughs> okay. Fucking, we have a... Uh, Lots of people who fucking awesome. Eddie Murphy supposed to make the comedy now he complete we don't see him anymore no. but I hear he make remakes of the uh, Beverly Hills Cup. He just does Shrek. Oh, that's we always do because you can't see him. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, so all comedians should be comedians. 
Wow. And not fucking <laughs> going after and be so sick. Only one comedian who was good in the serious shit is Tom Hanks. He was before a really funny comedian and then became very serious and now everything. I don't is... think he was ever a comedian. Oh, yeah. he was an SNL. What do you mean? Tom Hanks was in the SNL. Yeah, hosting. No, what's few times? He was a ho- uh, Yeah, he... hosting. No, he... he's not a comedian. No, he was stand up comedian no, before. He's not. Yes, it is. He's always been an actor. No, he always was a comedian. No, the only one who was stand up comedian was Steve Martin. Tom Hanks? No, That's one pro. Not Tom Hanks. Uh, or the comedian Short. there, yeah. Yeah, not Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks is comedian. He never did a live like stand up show. There's no record of it. Tom Hanks was never a comedian. He's been an actor. Hey Suri. Hey Suri. Tom Hanks, comedian. Here are some Tom Hanks selections: The Post, California Typewriter, The Circle, Inferno, Sully. Do you want to hear the next five of the movies? No. I gotta find for you next time. There's because I see stand up how he long time with Eddie Murphy. There's a brand new Ellen stand up <coughs> on Netflix. Yeah, Ellen stuff the same was comedian. Yeah, she is a comedian. Did you watch this movie with fucking Schumer? I'm pretty. No. Oh, <laughs> good movie. I watched it. Yeah. Oh fuck! Holy shit! That chick is crazy. Yeah. Yeah, but movie's good. Actually, movie was good. Yeah. It's very funny movie. You should watch it. You gotta watch the fucking Ellen stand up. The new one, Relatable. That one was really funny. When? The last one? Yeah, the last one. Oh, I know that one. Uh, what she, uh, she, make, you... she makes one joke where she's like, uh, she's sitting, she's like, she's sitting with her friend. And yeah. And his friend's like, how are you gonna do stand up? You're not relatable. And then she's like, what, what do you mean you? relatable? Like, relatable, like stories. Like, we could have relatable stories where we have drive through problems or coffee maker problems, right? But mm-hmm. she's like, so she starts making the joke, like, what do you mean I'm not relatable? And then my two butlers come, and then my two butlers make my bath for me. And, then <laughs> <laughs> and so she starts turning it like she's like this rich queen. And then, like, after 10 minutes explaining, like, rich shit, she's like, oh, the towel was too far away from the bathtub, so I have to do the scoot. To the towel. Uh huh. And then she's like, oh my god, that's relatable. Relatable. Because <laughs> yeah. everyone had to do it. Yeah, okay. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's not the, you know, because you know, like, you know, one package is funny, but if you pull out, that is not fun. No, it's pretty funny. Pretty funny. For a new shit stand up, I'm very impressed with it. Uh, Why? You don't think Ellen's funny? No, I never watched her yet, so I don't can say nothing completely. She makes a joke about how you keep wearing the same socks and you keep getting holes in them. Uh huh. And then you're like, oh, it's a little hole. I'll keep wearing it. I'll keep wearing it. And then you go over to your friend's house and then it's like, oh, you have to take your shoes off. And then you're like, oh, man, I got to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Oh. And like jokes like that. It's good. It's a good show. Yeah, I, I just was thinking what I watched last one on Netflix. Oh, I'm watching this thing uh, right now. This serious. Uh, uh, Great show. Okay. No, they Great. have like a <laughs> cheat the death. What? Cheat, <laughs> cheat the death. Cheat the death. What are people doing? Like they want new butt check. Want to be pretty <laughs> younger. Uh, transfusion blood this one or serious with <laughs> diet they say the diet is the lie of the century for yeah. the people i'm watching right yeah, now on am a diet uh, maybe this is not cold Jesus. i lost weight from eating pasta and pizza it, yeah it that's just what depends what your body the, reacts the guys, to it's unbelievable yeah, yeah you can eat whatever the fuck you want you just yeah. can't eat like a fucking pig Listen, I got a story. Wait Let me tell you the story. Just we got fucking uh, 15 minutes left. I got two stories. <laughs> what are you looking up? I'm just trying this thing. What thing? For the name for the fuck. I can't see nothing. Well, no shit. You got sunglasses. <laughs> it's dark in the room. Mm-hmm. New release. I think so. Holy. 
We're gonna sit wait, here for ten minutes. Wait a second. Looking for wait fucking second. some fucking Se show on Netflix that no Se one's watching. No, everybody watching. Holy you should watch shit. this. Good. Fucking kill me now. You know what you should watch? Ellen, relatable. Fucking watch that. That's funny. That's a good stand up hour. Hello? Yes! We're doing the show. Exactly! Can you fucking get rid of your phone? Because clearly you don't even know what now. The Okay, you don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. Never prepare. Everything fucking last minute. And then bitches about it. Because <laughs> he doesn't. Yeah, she smirgle smirgle. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can't see. Smirgle smirgle. Mm -hmm. You know who Diamond. <laughs> who died this year? No. <laughs> Diamond Platz Nums is. <laughs> Diamond plats? <laughs> Platinums. Diamond platinums? Yeah, platinums. Platinums? Yeah, diamond platinums. Yeah, the platinums. <laughs> you know? Yeah, platina. What the fuck are you saying? I'm asking you, do you know this person named Diamond Platinums? No. Okay. Okay, who is this? He's the top African pop star right now. Diamond plat 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 platinums. platinums. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest Ooh. pop star in Africa right now. Da, 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 okay? Da, da, da. He got banned for performing live in Tanzania. 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 In Africa. That's in his country, Africa. right? Oh, That's his homeland. Yeah, the banana land. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I don't know if they grow bananas. I don't know. Africa's a big country. Maybe, yeah, they have maybe, a lot of elephants and bananas. Maybe it's desert. You don't know what part of Africa it is. It's the Africa with bananas. No. <laughs> so, you got, so you got banned. Yeah. For being too sexual. For, on the stage? Yeah. What uh, like sexual? What he I did? I don't know. Just doing like dry humping shit. He was in Africa. serving uh, balls in the bag. Nuts in the bag. Sexually. And he's like, suck my nuts! Take on my ba bag! Take on my sack. Okay, next one. So he basically was... The song is called Mwanza. Which contains the <laughs> Swahili word for horny in the song. Huh? So he was basically singing about how horny he was in the song. Horny, horny, and horny. Af and this country... Where you're Tans not supposed to sing horny. Yeah, you can't sing your horny. horny yeah. So now he's threatening them. He's like, fuck you, I'm going to go to Kenya. Horny. Where I can sing about being horny. Okay, okay. Fucking crazy. He's the number one pop star in that country. Which country? In Tanzania. <laughs> in Africa. His name is Platinum Black? And he's the number one... What his name is? Diamond Platinums. Hey, Suri. Who is Diamond Platinums? Nasi Babdul Juma, popularly known by his stage name Diamond Platinums, is a Tanzanian bongo flavor recording artist and dancer from Tanzania. Shall I continue? Yes. He has had several hit songs including number one which he featured Nigerian artist Davido. Diamond won numerous awards at Channel ON and the Pippo Music Awards. He performed at the Big Brother Africa 7 eviction show in May 2012. I'm telling you, he's the biggest pop star from Africa. Diamond Platinums. Nubia Abdul Juba. Well, that's probably his real name. Yeah. yeah. But why would you use your real name? Jubala. If you're awesome. from Africa. Abdullah. Yeah. Zub -zub 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 -zub. In Zab uh, what? In Zuba? Where he is? What? Tanzania. Tanzania. So he basically got banned. He can't even play in his home country. This is fucking crazy. Anywhere. So he's like, fuck you. I'm going to go to Kenya. Yeah. And he's the biggest pop star in Africa. I'm horny. And, yeah. And he just sings, I'm horny. And they fucking banned him. Terrible. It's horrible. That's his why racism. Can't... Why is it racism? What? It's Africa. Yeah. But like, there's racism. Like, what is racism? You can't say, I'm horny. Yeah, how do you even know if you can can or can't even say it? You know what I mean? Well, you you find out. Like, do that. you go do you go like in a law book, and then so you go to the library, and you're like, I'm gonna look in the Tanz Tanzania 
uh, fucking but he's from language, Tanzania. Language law. Yeah, so he should know. That's what word you can say. How do you? How do you know? They have a list. Where? Like in the radio. Like in Canada. In the radio, like, like we they live said, in Canada. you can say that. You can say this. You can say this. You have list. You have to. Yeah, but horny is not. You not, have to. It's uh, not a swear word. Yeah, you but you I mean? have to figure out something else. Not use this horny word, but use the same words, so the same mean. So what you can ha say, you what say. What would you substitute horny with? I say happy, happy, more happy. I want to be happy, happy. More happy. Like that's what you say in the song. Yeah, more happy. Instead more... Of, like I'm so horny. I'm, I'm no, no, I'm no so horny. Happy, happy. I'm so happy. happy. I'm so happy. I want to be more happy. Happy every day. Yeah, film... Happy everybody. <laughs> happy everybody. <laughs> film... Everything happy. See, awesome. Yeah, fill my, fill me with your joy. Yeah, that's... whack my happiness. Yeah, hey, whack hey. my happiness. Yeah. Happiness. Yeah. But yeah. like, he's the biggest. If you want to check him out. Yeah. Big African pop star, Diamond Platinums. Diamond Platinums. Yeah. I'm going to actually fucking listen to him today. It's probably very African music. Fucking very happy music. You probably won't even understand the language. Happy, happy, um, happy bananas. Why always well, bananas? Well, fucking right? Africa bananas. Why Africa? No. Yeah, palm trees bananas. Coconuts. Yeah, it sounds like you're describing like fucking Africa, Cuba right now. C Cuba, cigars, yeah. not fucking bananas. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Cuba. Yeah, yeah. you sound like a uh, Andrew Santino. And how 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 you can describe Antarctica? I'm saying penguins, fucking everywhere. Ice, frozen. No, melted now. They show now. Holy shit! You sound like Andrew Santino when he was doing accents on Fire and the Kid. He's like, I'm from the island of Ireland. We play the bongos, <laughs> and then they're like, yeah. No, that's a, that sounds very Jamaican. That's oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Holy fuck! Bananas and palm trees and coconuts. So in that's Afri fucking Africa. Africa and crazy elephants running. Africa. Fucking you know Egypt's in Africa. Do you see palm trees and bananas over there? Who is Egypt? Egypt is not in Africa. Yes, it is. Same with Morocco. You see fucking palm trees in Morocco? Yes. <laughs> like <laughs> on the street. Like Senegal. You see palm trees in Senegal? What is Senegal? What about Zimbabwe? You see Zimbabwe Africa fucking bananas growing over there? What about Congo? Hey Siri. Where is the biggest plantation of bananas? What does it say for biggest plantation of bananas? Africa. Where? Right beside the bubble. <laughs> Where do they grow bananas? South America? Costa Rica? The islands? Where do they grow bananas? Why are you so quiet now? What happened to your Africa bananas? Because the... the... I have, to, I have to go on different side. Wait, this thing just saying and don't saying. Yeah, where's your African bananas? Biggest plantation of bananas. You have to. You have to make us stop listening to us. There we go. You get African bananas. Where are they? What country? India. India. You know where India is? Right beside Africa. Asia. India is an Asian country. World largest bananas production countries. Yeah. yeah. India. Yeah. Where they make <laughs> thirty million tons of <laughs> fucking banana a year bananas just. In India. India. Yeah. That's a big thing. Not even close to Africa. <laughs> you know why in Africa they say they know what they see here? Uh, world production around uh, 140 million tons statistic. India is the largest producer bananas, 30 million. Then we have a China, Philippines, Ecuador. Yes. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. I don't see. Any so bananas. Asia. Ecuador. So Asia is the biggest producer for bananas. Yeah, right beside Africa. <laughs> Ecuador, Brazil, Indonesia. Yeah. Tanzania. Where is what? your king is singing? What? Tanzania. Where is it say? Tanzania, United Republic of Tanzania, Angela, Guatemala, Mexico, 
That's the waters in yeah, all country. That's like, the countries know, from Tanzania. Costa Rica. Yeah, Costa Burma, Rica. Burma, Colombia, Thailand, Vietnam, yeah. Yeah. Rose, Kenya, Egypt. Egypt, they Papua do make New bananas? Yeah. Okay. Only, only 250,000 tons. Okay. And Dominican Republic. <laughs> Freaking, where is Africa? You named African countries. You named two of them. Yeah, but like I want like Africa. <laughs> Africa is the continent. So the biggest fucking is... Uh, India. India, right after is Uganda. What? Uganda. Uganda, that's yeah, Africa. Yeah. And after this China. That's Africa. Minaland. Like yeah. It's different China. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, so surprise, surprise, fucking. Uh, look yeah. like bananas were supposed to be bananas, and it's not bananas. It's in Africa, you name Africa. Yeah, countries. but like they really like the low, but the biggest is India, which are like fucking just bananas over there. Yeah. Like everywhere is bananas and, uh, and uh, send cows. You can't eat beef over there. Yeah, but you could get eaten by fucking tigers and monkeys over there. Oh, this was uh, this one guy, a uh, new stand up, this from India guy. He was saying, like, fucking, they can eat beef okay. in India. And he said, in 10 years from now, if you're looking, it's going to be three Indian left and 55 million cows. cows. <laughs> because we're going to die from no eating beef, he said. <laughs> All right. So what's going on? Final story. Ready? Final story. Ready? Final countdown. This guy, do, 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 do. another guy turns himself in. Remember how we talked about last uh, time a guy turned himself in for uh, fucking his pony? Oh, another guy? So another guy turned himself in. For this time, for what? What do you think for what? Well, let me disguise myself. <laughs> what do you think this guy turned himself in for? No idea. Have a penguin or have a pet or something? No. The man admits he admits to breaking into a funeral home. Oh. And having sex with dead person with the corpse oh, but in the funeral. That's home. sick. You can be poisoned from this, like a, you know, this thing, like your body if it's dead, you have a poison everywhere going. Because mm-hmm. when it dis dissolve everything quickly, so you, the, your body release poison, dissolve everything. Yeah. And then if you put this on you, you can die. You crazy? Mm-hmm. What he fucked? He was twenty three years old. Mm, that's crazy. He was just breaking in the funeral home to steal shit. And then he see hot he, chicks laying yeah, down. Yeah, then he's like, oh, wow, nice dead body. How is it even possible? He's fucking dead. It's like wood. You can't even do nothing. Yeah, it's nice and stiff. <laughs> yeah, no. That's what I'm saying. You can't do nothing. Probably lubed it. No, know. lubed it. It's stiff, <laughs> fucking. It's dead. Yeah. Oh, disgusting. Yeah, and he was like, this corpse is hot. So he go anal? He, f- he fucked. <laughs> he probably fucked them always. <laughs> Anal, vaginal. He's like, I'm gonna fuck the dude in the ass. I have no idea. What are you talking about? <laughs> what do you mean? Hmm? That chick was how old? <laughs> chick, it was a guy. <laughs> she fucked the guy? No, the guy went in. Oh. Uh, and he's fucking like. Chick? No, he's just fucking dead people. Yeah, how many dead people was there? I don't know how many dead people were in this funeral. Oh, fuck. He's the like, judge. Orgy! We have he, a party! At least he went and to the police and he's like, listen, I have a problem. I keep fucking these dead people. <laughs> and the cops are like, well, we have to arrest you. And he's like, that's fine. It will keep me away from fucking the dead people. Oh. And the judge is like, you're going to get jail time because you can't fuck dead people. And he's like, okay, I understand, but I already fucked the dead people. So you... That's crazy. People crazy. That's the uh, beautiful United States of America. Ah. It was in Birmingham. We have to make great America again. Well, we are making... Look at the guy was fucking a pony last month. And he turned himself in saying, this is wrong. Why am I fucking this pony? That's very honest people. Bro. And now this guy, he's 23. He's like, listen, I got a problem. I'm fucking, I'm fucking dead, dead people. people in the funeral home. Oh, my God. And he's like, we got to fix this problem. <laughs> and the judge is like, holy fuck. Yeah. Today, I went for a nice coffee at Dunkin' Donuts, and I walk in, and the guy's telling me how he's fucking dead people. Yeah. Holy shit. That's amazing time for this beautiful... You know, like a time with families. So the dead people don't feel lonely and abandoned. Somebody jumping in and have a fun with them. Yeah, it's fucking... What happened uh, 
ants uh <laughs> and the dead people yeah stuff. what happened with the uh, ants she's got fucking white stuff all over her face now who the ant the dead ant you know what? They do funeral with open casket. Yeah, but he and they, see, guy. and they see white stuff all so over. So they're gonna face. say she donuts before she died. Powdered donuts. Powdered donuts. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's the show. That's the show. Seventy-seven. I think so. Seventy-eight is gonna be much better. We're gonna be healthy. You're not gonna hear this all the time. <laughs> and then I'm gonna be too. I'm still back. I have a headache like crazy. Yeah. Today. And. Uh, well, you process a lot. Uh, I don't know. We haven't done it in a while. I know, but it was okay. Yeah? Yeah. That's Nothing right. like nuts in the bag. Yeah, exactly. All right, peace out.